Hello everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to create a start model, add loads, um, assign the geometric properties to certain elements by using the explicit method. Explicit method. Um, now, the now, certain elements will be done explicitly. Um, so the frame, the building that we have to work with is basically in plan. Uh, it is a three story. Uh, so it's a basement, ground floor, first floor, and uh, basic first floor plan. Ground floor, roof level, and um, grid lines one and three, and MB is on the middle base. So let's go to start. All right. Um. Let's right, get started. The building is a two-story steel building with concrete basement below ground. Keep that in mind, it is below the ground. Your model should address the following. Explicitly model all columns. Right? Now when they say explicitly model all columns, beams and walls. Right? The explicit definition in stud. Right? Is basically the member geometry is first defined by a line and then it is assigned a property. That is basically what that explicitly model all columns with beams, whatever. No, it just means it is being assembled as lines and then we are going to assign a property to it. So let's start. Um, new model, space. Uh, let's call this okay. All right, check your units next. Add beams, finish. All right, now here we have the grid that would pop up. Now we are going to edit this grid, we are going to set up this grid here, um, 12, remember 12.5 feet and 30 feet apart, so let's get that going, so we are going to work in the YZ plane, um, Thirty to the foot. Okay. All right. Now we have that. Now let's add some uh, elements. Escape. Escape. Go there. All right. Now using. As seen in the um, here, the middle member is going straight to 12 and 31 feet, right? Now, to simply carry this node 6 feet more, let's go to the node selector, select the node, type P, node 31, and top. Right. So we have that there, now we can add our beams, we would want to add our beams or elements in such a way that we are going from a low, a low node to a high node connecting our elements. So shift N would enable us to see our node coordinate. So let's go from low to high, low to high, and we have some here 
Now we need to copy this. We have how much seconds? We have this one. one, two, three, four, four more. So let's translate it in the x direction, right? Look at the UCS. Four at 24 feet apart. We are going to link the steps. Okay. And if we take a look in the 3D view, we have something looking like it there. <laughs> so now we have to kind of delete some elements or some members. Well, I shouldn't say members as well because it's basically lines at the moment. Um, let's take a look at the drawing. Now, middle base don't have any first floor columns, so we need to remove those. Control, control, delete, yes. And um, if we take a look at the kernel, which one, which one I'm looking for? Alright, if we take a look at the roof one, there isn't any beams along this grid line too, so we need to remove. These are right. Then let's check it out. Um, and these are these. And uh, well, I shouldn't say there's no good line. Um, at the bottom here, there's no beams, right? So we need to delete these as well. Okay, let's check it in the three D view. Hey, it's looking it's looking wonderful already. Nice. Um this is the steel part. Okay, see I guess I have to see that. This is the steel framing. Now we need to add our concrete frame. So load selector. We would want to translate these nodes in the look at the UCS y direction, but we will be going negative 12.5 foot one right and we will link these steps. Okay, that is our concrete elements, well not as yet. Um right, so we are all set there with the basic frame. This is our basic explicit model, alright. Now we need to add some properties. So let's go to the property page. Um, looking at instructions, all columns are W10 by 90. Steel beams are W16 by 36. Braces are that concrete is this. Okay, let's let's get it going. Um section database. W ten by ninety. As you could see here, the American don't have W10 by 90, so we would use one just larger than W10 by 90, which is W10 by 100. Click add. And the beam is W16 by 36. Uh, I think I passed it. 16 by 36, so we add. Um, and add the pipe just yet. Close. We would add the concrete column. Could define rectangular. We have a one foot by one foot column. Concrete. Add. Close. And um. Uh, before we do. That 
before we assign the properties to each line element or each line number um, we are going to add in no no we can't do that as it all right um yeah let's assign the properties so okay not at all property ph um first select the the um section then select the beams parallel to y and assign yes that's that and then let's see like the beams and control control come in here control 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 and just take a look at this in 3D, right? And just press assign. Okay. Um, let's just have a look at this. Let me track it and I'm full section. Okay. Nice. So it's shaping up look quite quite well so far. Uh, okay. Nice. To get out back of this section, let's click this and let's assign our concrete to these columns. Assign, yes, nice. Um, that is that.